right, hello. This is uh, part two of this project. Um, I've got the uh, all the sockets wired and mounted in their boxes and mounted into the enclosure. And you can see they're just the the hangers are screwed in through the back. And what I've done here is I've pulled out the you know, the foot or so of extra cable that I get for each one of these. So there will be, there's two out of uh, each hole, one in the top and one in the bottom of each of the hangers for uh, the numbered, that match the, the numbered sockets here. So you can see that I put numbers there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and across here. And I've also numbered the wires so I don't get them mixed up. My next uh, job here is to figure out how to put uh, this, basically put the power bus together. Um, this is a pretty simplistic drawing, but basically I was just working out how the connections to the relay board and power are going to be. So if this is the incoming power, there'll be a common uh, positive bus which will get connected to the black on each one of the uh, each one of the plugs um, and then there will be a common uh, negative side which is uh, gets which will get tied in to one of the pins on each of the relays on the open on the on the common open or the uh, yeah, I guess there. I guess on the relay, it's called the common open, not the common close. On the common open side, um, and then there will be another ground bus, which will go across, and that'll get connected to the ground on every one of uh, every one of the plugs. So basically, what happens here is the voltage comes out, it comes across, travels up to the plug. And if the plug is closed, this is the default open, it won't have anywhere to go. It can't return back to the source. But if the, if the relay closes, that means they'll move uh, the neutral or, or negative side of the plug over to this side of the relay. Then it will be able to flow back down and back out to the source. So that should do it. I just had to do it 16 times. Um, I wanted to get what they call a bus bar, or a couple of them, which would make making these buses uh, a snap and really clean. Unfortunately, they're super expensive, so I've been fooling around with the idea of using these um, uh, gated or uh, broken uh, screw terminal strips. The problem with using those is that it's going to leave them exposed. It's going to leave some of the wires exposed. It's going to make it extremely easy to get shocked and electrocuted, which is not something I want. I'm still thinking about what to do here. I'm I've also I'm looking into possibly just connecting all the wires uh, via these four uh, four wire connectors. Nope, darn it. <laughs> and uh, just connect them all in series to make the different buses and that's okay it's going to be a little messy but I definitely think it's safer than using the screw terminals um, we'll get back to that in a little bit